completely fucking out of it today. Like completely out of it. I had an appointment this morning and I meant to vlog and completely fucking forgot to. But to be fair, I don't really have that much to say that I feel is important. Um, I just took my wig off because it's fucking burning up outside. The boys are supposed to get a package today and of course this is like the one fucking time in months that the uh that the mail is running late it usually gets here between 11 and noon it usually comes at about 11 30 on average and it is currently 12 30 and it's still not here so they are sitting with their faces pressed up against the window heavy breathing just like just like their mother you are your mother's children it's not the fact that i gave birth to you it's that i started my period last night which uh oh shit I forgot. I just took a drink of Dr. Pepper and I forgot that uh, I had lipstick on when I opened it and started drinking it. <sighs> Anyways, um, I started my period last night, which made me feel a lot better. Um, Epps brought me home a Reese cup because I asked him to uh, and I could hardly choke it down because it's like once my period shows up, like the fucking storm clears, you know what I mean? But that definitely means that I'll start feeling a little bit better. Don't look at my creepy janitor hair. I have creepy janitor hair. I've thought about uh, reshaving my mohawk, but then I'm like, but what if I just let it grow out and I can have all one length creepy janitor hair? God. But yeah, I feel a lot better, like, mentally for starting my period. However, physically, I am fucking tired. I am tired-er. And I didn't think that that was possible. Does anybody else have a nose like a fucking bloodhound when they're hormonal? I swear to you, I can smell everything. Like, call me fucking Sookie Stackhouse smelling the cracker underneath of her fucking chair. That's me. For like the whole week leading up to my period. It's fucking bad. I am really hormonal though because like I had to go to an appointment today that was across the street from a uh, daycare. And there's like this shaved ice truck that comes by a couple times a week and I see them over there. And there was a little boy sitting on the, the ground eating his flavored, you know, Italian ice, whatever the hell it is. Um, and... He was by himself, and I was like, <laughs> I felt bad for him, but I was like, bitch, don't sit here and fucking stare at him. You look like a fucking creep. Look at my little tiny pathetic bun. Wow. Wow. That's so cool looking. You're so cool looking. Fuck, I don't know. There is something that I wanted to tell you about, and you can disassociate while I talk about it. It's fine. So I told you guys like a while ago that uh, I started this game on The Sims, and I was like, I'm not going to cheat. I'm not going to use any codes. I'm not going to use a money code. I'm not going to use a... You should probably think about getting your brakes checked. Anyways, I was like, I'm not going to cheat. I'm not going to use the money code. I'm not going to use the make static, need, need static code. Like, I'm not going to do any of that. By the way, I was digging around in my makeup bag and I hit this nail and it popped off and disappeared into the fucking ether. It went into my makeup bag and disappeared. I can't fucking find it anywhere. It's wild. Anyways, um, and I got pretty far into it. I got several hours into it and Epps came home from work and accidentally unplugged my computer and it wasn't his fault because shit happens. Well, anyways, I started a new house and I promise you this is going somewhere. And um, the way that I cheat the game without using cheat codes is in Sims 3, you can adjust the lifespan of your Sim. You can make it like two days long or like hundreds of days long. Just depends on what you want to do. And that's what I do. I max out their life. Um, for young adult, adult, and elder, so that I have like tons and tons of time to like get successful. And so that's what I did. So, um, I built that bitch, built her life from the ground up. She became a successful uh, writer, a master painter. She fucking um, maxed out all of her skills. Like, she did everything. She learned all the recipes, all that shit. And then I was like, you know what? I'm bored. I'm bored because she doesn't like, I'm bored because she did all this shit and she's got tons and tons of life left and I don't have anything to do. 
So I started thinking about adopting a child. I'm like, I've, I need meaning in my life. I need, I need to adopt a child. So that's what I did. My Sim's name is Dr. Pepper and she adopted a baby and she named her Pib. So she raises Pib in this big, beautiful house and she can give Pib her full attention because she's got money. She's an established writer. She's got a, she's got a cushiony savings account. She's got this big, beautiful house. Did I already say that? I'm going to say that twice. Um, she's got an established career. She's got all the time in the world because she's maxed out in all of her skills. You know, she is like ideal to be raising a baby and she's still relatively young, you know, so she can keep up with her. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to give my Sim a fucking baby. She raises this girl, buys her everything, everything. She works hard. The little girl works hard, all that stuff. Um, they go through life together. She provides an amazing life for her, builds her a pool, buys a house by the ocean, all that shit. You know, she get like, <clears throat> <clears throat> well, well, the, well, the end of the story is Pib grows up and Pib still lives with Doctor in their big giant house that she raised Pib in. Pib hates Doctor. They they grew up. She she raised her. They were super close when she was a child, all through her teen years. And then Pib hits young adulthood, and suddenly she can't fucking stand her mom. And every time they get around each other, all they do is fight. You just see that negative red, and I'm like, this is fucking devastating. I even like used some of Pib's lifetime rewards points to reset her because you know when you adopt a child or you have a baby you don't get to choose um who they are the game like I don't know I don't know if it's like that whenever you have a baby because I've never like purposely gotten a sim pregnant but when you adopt a baby um they are who they are well I used her lifetime points to like re-choose her stuff thinking that it would help them get along better not at all. I don't know if it's just a phase. I'm so upset. Like, I'm sitting here like, I gave you the best fucking life possible. I did everything for you. I fucking cannot believe. She, she hates. She hates Doctor. Pib hates Doctor. Her name's Dr. Pepper. And Pib's name is Pib Pepper. <laughs> I can't name things. If I'm sitting there and I'm naming a sim... I'll just look up and see Lamp. My fucking Sim's name is going to be Lamp. I can't, I'm not, I, I can't name things. I can't name things. Both of my children were named by their dads. I am so fucking devastated that my Sim worked so hard to build this life. Before she brought a child into it, she brings this child into it. She gives them everything. Her full attention everything material wise and she fucking grows up and the she can't stand her pib cannot stand her i'm i'm so mad about it i'm so like it's heartbreaking like is this, is this drama and there's nothing that i can do about it i can't make them get along i can't like i have tried and i cannot make them get along i'm so upset about it so upset about it. so it's been a couple of hours and by a couple of hours i mean like four hours uh i just been laying in bed watching tiktoks uh and flipping through nine million apps because i can't focus on anything for more than two minutes at a time uh anyways i don't feel good at all it suddenly hit me that i really didn't feel good and i think it's just because uh my period like severely picked up it's like super fucking heavy i have a tendency to get anemia when I'm on the rag and I don't think this time's going to be any different. Let's also talk about the fact that I have, it, 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 last month it came on the 14th or was it the 14th or the 17th? And this month it came on the 11th. And then like the month before that, it came on like the 21st and like the month before that, like it's, it's just all over the place. This shit just comes whenever it feels like it. And then when it gets here, it's like hellish. And you're going to look at me, you're going to fucking look at me and tell me that that's normal. Um, bitch, I don't fucking think so. I don't fucking think so.
It's almost midnight, which means that Epps is going to be off the clock any minute now. But I just woke up from a nap. And um, by now, you guys have probably realized that I wasn't, I'm not going to upload today because I had this, I took my nails off. I'm going to tell you. I had a sudden urge to play video games for the first time in a really long time. I don't know where I was. Mr. E just called. I had the urge to play video games for the first time in a really, really long time. Um, by really, really long time, I mean like, not like, that makes it sounds like years or whatever, but it's, it's been, it's been a while. And, uh, I thought between, you know, how hellish I feel on my period and the fact that I'm having a little glimmer of normalcy. I think I'm just going to take a moment from myself. And also, I got a receipt today with a 777 on it, which, if you believe in numbers, is the sign for take some fucking time to yourself. <laughs> and my superstitious ass does. So that's what I did. I, I played Sims for a couple of hours, and then um, I was going to watch some TV, which is weird because I don't hardly ever feel like watching TV. The last time that I really sat down and watched TV, I was uh, binge watching Thousand Pound Sisters because I fucking love that show. But I wanted to watch something and my TV's acting up and I took a look at it and I said, I'm not fucking dealing with this and shut it back off. I don't feel like messing with the Wi-Fi connection. I really don't. And I just laid down and took a nap for a couple of hours and I woke up and I was like, wow, I really did take time for myself. And I didn't upload. It feels weird, but I know that nobody's going to get mad at me over it. I took my nails off because I lost one already, like in my fucking makeup bag. Like it just disappeared into the fucking void. Like, don't look at my forehead. But um, when I was trying to play Sims, like both of the characters that I have right now are writers. And my nails, like, they would start new books, and my nails would accidentally hit the keyboard. So, like, I have so many books that my Sims have written that are just, like, random letters that look like somebody just smashed their face into the keyboard because I wasn't paying attention. Like, there's two of them going at the same time. There's two of them going at the same time. You know, like, when they sit down to start writing, the book title pops up, and you can, like take the pre-written one or write your own. I always take the pre-written one and the thing would pop up and I wouldn't notice it and my nails would hit like two to three buttons at the same time. And I was like, fuck it. I'm just going to take them off. The The one is gone forever. The one's literally just, just fucking lost in the upside down. So I just took them off so that I could play with a little bit more ease. But also I want to talk about how fucking embarrassing it is not for me not for me um when i was laying here and i was like three-fourths of the way asleep watching some fucking amazing asmr i got a notification on my phone that i got a friend request from this girl that i genuinely i just genuinely don't like her for a million different reasons mainly that i don't agree with her way of parenting like i don't think that it's very nice to take your kids Christmas away from them on Christmas Eve. Um, when you're, you tell your son who was a child to go to bed and uh, he takes a couple minutes to finish up his video game, I just don't think that you should traumatize your kids that way. And kids are humans and not robots and I could fucking go on and on and on about that shit. I just, I, I, I just think that's wrong. I think that's traumatizing and I think it's disgusting. I don't like her. And I met her um, out at a bar a couple of years ago with one person that I'm not friends with anymore. And it was the most, oh my God, nights I've ever had in my fucking life. I would love to do a story time about it, but I have no idea how I would dilute it down so that it could be monetized. I mean, it was fucking wild. And not in a fun way. Not in a good way, guys. She sent me a friend request. And I pick up my phone to uh, reject it. And it's gone. She was probably, like, poking around my profile and accidentally hit add friend. But I wanted the satisfaction of denying that bitch. 
it, it disappeared. It, she literally had to had panicked. But I got the notification, Hooker. I got it. And I think that you're a mean person. And I don't want anything to do with you. And I wanted the satisfaction of hitting decline. Denied. <laughs> she literally, on Christmas morning, made her son, who still believed in Santa Claus, sit down and watch his little sister open Christmas presents while he got a letter from Santa telling him that he's bad because she told him to go to bed and he waited like he took a couple minutes because he was getting to a spot in his video game where he could save. That's hateful. That's needlessly hateful. I mean, as a traumatized person because of my childhood, I can tell you he's not going to like you very much when he gets older. Kids are not robots, and that's will stick with me. That behavior, what she did to him, and how proud she was of herself of it, that shit will stick with me for the rest of my life. Imagine how he feels. I got some bills paid, and I got one of E's uh, birthday presents ordered, so it will be here before his birthday. Uh, so yeah, I did something productive today, kind of. Trying to find a game to play. Uh, Steam is having a summer sale. And um, I'm just, nothing just seems like worth spending money on, even though it's all cheap. And also, everything I already own just sounds really boring right now. Like, I love Stardew, but I need a break from it sometimes. I love Sims. I need a break from it sometimes. I haven't played Cult of the Lamb in a while. I haven't played Dreamlight Valley in a while. Maybe I just need to do it. Maybe I just need to play it. Or I need to see what's on Game Pass. Yay! What a dork. What a nerd. I could play Overwatch. Shit, I don't know. The look on my forehead. So I took my break, and I hope that everybody is proud of me. I fucking stayed in this room. I did end up playing Cult of the Lamb last night. Um, and I was not prepared for the amount of updates it has had. Like, there's so much more shit in the game than there was the last time that I played because it's been a couple of months. I was not prepared for that at all. Oh my god. Bitch, what the fuck? I was not prepared for how different it was compared to the last time that I played. But also, Epps and I could not fucking fall asleep last night. Uh, we could not fucking fall asleep last night. The last time that I looked at the clock, it was 5 a.m. And it's pretty normal for me to have problems falling asleep, but it's not normal for him to have problems falling asleep. Uh, and we fucking rolled around all night and neither of us could fucking fall asleep. Like, I, I just, I could not get comfortable. Why, just somebody explain to me why my forehead is so large, but my head is so small. My sister used to make fun of me when we were kids because I have a small head. Why, how can you have a large forehead, but simultaneously a small fucking head? It's like my forehead is, it like quite literally, look at that. It, what the fuck? My forehead is like half of my head. I'm obsessed with it. I am. Why can't I be like Epps and have a two head? But I did end up playing Call to the Lamb. Um, and that was fun. I played for a couple of hours. But Epps came home and we could not fucking fall asleep. Which was super, super fun. Uh, and yeah, I had to turn on my ringer. Which I hate having my ringer on. Uh, yes, please. Sorry, Epps is texting me from the store i had to turn my ring around because i my plan last night it seems like any fucking time that i make plans to like wake up early it blows up in my fucking face because um i needed to get up early and call akron children's pharmacy because mr d was supposed to get a delivery yesterday because his transmitter for his dexcom expires on the 15th but he will be at the beach on the 15th. So um, I called them a couple of weeks ago, probably like two weeks ago, to see like the earliest that I could get a new one and have my insurance pay for it. And they told me the 11th, so they would have it in the mail by the 11th. Um, and because they're in Akron and I'm where I am, it usually gets here in one day. 
It usually it gets in town in half a day, actually, and then they deliver it the next day. But um, I, I'm very, very worried that he's going to go on vacation and have to get shots and poked the entire time. Um, but I woke up and I gave them a call as soon as I woke up. But I was still very, very upset that I slept until 1130. I asked Epps why he didn't wake me up. I'm like, why did you let me sleep so long? And he was like, well, I just kind of figured since you were sleeping that you needed to. Which is exactly what I say about him. I just figured because he's sleeping that he needs to. Today is the last day that I am sitting around doing nothing. He is at the, he's at the store right now, um, getting some groceries, um, from, and some medicine for my headache. And then I'm getting up, I'm going to shower. I'm going to do my makeup. I'm going to go outside and use my camera. And I am fucking putting that out there. I am putting that out there. I cannot waste another day. And I know you guys are like, you've only been rotting in your room for one day. First of all, I rot in my room about 75% of the time. And, um, yeah, I, I, I need to do something. I need to put on makeup. I need to put on a cute outfit. I need to go outside. I need to fucking do something. Um, at this point, I don't know if I have a headache from hormones or if it's because of laying around. Because that does laying around gives me a fucking headache. My forehead is so big. I'm obsessed with it. What the fuck? I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog because Epps is almost home. And uh, I'm going to take some Excedrin when he gets here with it. And I'm going to get in the shower and I'm going to start my day. And I'm going to start my vlog uh, for tomorrow. And yeah, I'm tired. My pores are screaming for me to clog them with makeup. <laughs> I will see you guys tomorrow. Boy, I'm not flipping you off. You've seen enough of my bare nails. <laughs> my bare nails over the last, like, week or whatever. Boy. <laughs>